In the world of online mattresses, there are tons of options to choose from, but two pretty popular ones are from Helix Sleep and Tuft & Needle, and that's what I'm gonna be talking about in today's video. More specifically, the Tuft & Needle Original Mattress and the Helix Midnight. Hey there, I'm Wes. I work over here at the Slumberyard, and we talk about all things online beds. We put them to the test, we put them head to head, and we review them, so ultimately we can help you out in your mattress purchasing decision. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna talk about everything that you need to know about these two mattresses, starting with the policies, then I'll get into similarities, differences, all while discussing firmness, feel, construction, pricing, and so much more. And at the end, I'll try to have a final verdict and answer some of the questions that you still might have about Tuft & Needle and Helix. Now, if you happen to enjoy this video along the way, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing for so much more content just like this. And always check down below in the description box, but let's get right into this video. At the slumber, All right, so before I get into Helix and Tuft & Needle and talk about everything that you need to know about these beds before you actually try them, I do wanna say that both of these brands did send them to us for free to review and tell you guys about them. But if you order either one online, they'll be backed by the following policies, starting with completely free shipping. Both these beds are bed in a box mattresses, which means that they'll show up in a box that you just drag in your home, start ripping off all that packaging, and you'll have a bed that will expand in front of your eyes. Now with Helix, all their beds have pocketed coils, so those beds might expand and get to their true firmness rather quickly. But with the Tuft & Needle mattress, you might wanna give it a day or a couple of hours to fully inflate and get to its true firmness level before you start making any of your harsh judgment calls on the bed. Now once either of these are in your possession, you get a sleep trial with both. With Tuft & Needle, you get 100 nights to test it out in the comfort of your own home with your own sheets and your own pajamas and whatever else. And Helix is also backed by a 100 night trial. So you basically get up to three months, maybe a little bit longer to test these beds out in the comfort of your own home in your own sleeping arrangements. Now, if during that trial period, something isn't right with either one of these beds, that's fine because you can get free returns with both brands, but hopefully you do enjoy them. And if so, they're both backed by a 10 year warranty, which is pretty much the mattress industry standard. And if you need any more information about those warranties or those policies or those sleep trials, check down below in the description. But let's get right into this video and touch on what these beds have in common and what they have that are different. And I'll start with different because we're gonna talk about construction. The first bed we're gonna take a look under the cover of is the Tuft & Needle mattress. And this is a simple two layer all foam bed with dense support foam on the bottom and then a comfort foam layer, which is actually an adaptive open cell foam. But this whole bed's construction adds up to give the bed more of a soft neutral foam feel. It's something that's pretty accommodating, something that we think that nine out of 10 sleepers would probably really enjoy. Now jumping back to the Helix bed, this bed has a hybrid construction, which means they use pocketed coils for the main layer of support for the bed. And in general, we pretty much recommend that most people who are heavier or above the 200 to 250 pound range should look into a bed with pocketed coils rather than an all foam one, just because those coils provide a lot more long-term support and durability for bigger body types. Now getting back to the construction of the Helix Midnight, above those coils, you have a transition layer and then a comfort foam, which in Helix Midnight's case is actually a memory plus foam or at least that's what they're calling it. And though the bed does have that memory foam in its construction, it's not gonna have an overwhelming memory foam feel. We pretty much will just say that it has more of a soft coil bed feel. It's gonna feel kind of similar to a Tuft & Needle, but it'll have a little bit more bounce because of those coils. But in general, it's just gonna be a really accommodating mattress that we think that most people will really like to sleep on. Now, rounding out those two feels with the Tuft & Needle mattress, you pretty much just have a soft neutral all foam option. And then with Helix, it's more of a hybrid soft accommodating feel, but either way you go, it's gonna be pretty darn accommodating for your sleeping. Both these beds are gonna be safe picks for the average sleeper, and if you don't have any crazy sleeping requirements, like that you want a latex bed or a memory foam bed, you can probably go with either one of these options. All right, now let's get into another thing that both these beds have in common, and that is firmness. Both them will be right around a medium on our firmness scale, so they'll work for all sleeper types, back, stomach, side, and combination. You know, since a medium firmness is right in the middle, it pretty much can work for anybody. But if you are looking for a softer or a firmer bed, both these brands have a couple options for you. In Tuft & Needle's case, you can get the Tuft & Needle Mint Mattress, which is a softer bed made specifically for side sleepers. And Helix has tons of different options. They actually have 12 models. They have six core models and six Lux models, which are basically just 
souped up upgraded versions of those base models. They have Birch, which is a natural and organic mattress, and they have Helix Plus, which is made for especially heavy individuals. I think it can support up to 500 pounds, so it can support a lot of weight on a nightly basis. So definitely check out any of those beds if you're interested in any of them. And if so, they'll be linked down below in the description box. Now at this point in the video, let's touch on some X factors. What do these beds have that are, you know, putting them above and beyond other mattresses. And with the Tuft & Needle mattress, it doesn't really have much. It's just a simple, comfy bed. That's what you're getting, and that's what they're selling. So nothing to report there. But with Helix, they actually have a sleep quiz on their website where you can enter some information about yourself, and they will basically start to formulate which bed they think will work best for your sleeping situation. Now over here at the Slumberyard, we've tried their Dawn mattress, which is a little bit firmer, maybe a little bit better for strict back and stomach sleepers. And we've also tried their Moonlight Lux and their Sunset Lux, which are both on the softer end of the spectrum, maybe a better choice for strict side and combination sleepers. And the Sunset Lux even has more of a memory foam feel. So if you're into that, you can also go that way. So Helix, tons of different options and the sleep quiz will help you find which one is right for you. All right, so now let's talk price. How much money are you gonna be paying if you go the route of Helix or Tuft & Needle? And I wanna preface this section of the video and say that mattress brands, like both of these, do like to change their pricing and promotions constantly. So this is as of when I'm recording this video, but you should be able to pick up a Helix mattress in the queen size for around the $1,100 mark after discount. And sometimes they'll even bundle in like free pillows or some kind of gift with every purchase. And if you wanna use that discount code, it will be linked down below in the description box. And if you do decide to use it, it helps us out over here at the Slumberyard and we really appreciate that. Now in terms of Tuft & Needle, you can usually pick up a queen size for around the $1,000 mark MSRP. And sometimes they will offer discounts if they're currently doing that. We will link it down below in the description. But either way, you're paying around $1,000 for either one of these options. And that's pretty much the short story when comparing Helix, the Helix Midnight, to Tuft & Needle, the Tuft & Needle Original. But if you need any more information about these beds, we'll have tons more information down below in the description box, including other videos, some written content, and so much more, so definitely check down there. And at this point in the video, it's time to give you the Slumberyard's final verdict, so here it is. Well, I would check out Helix, if you want the midnight that's around a medium with a soft hybrid feel, or you wanna take that sleep quiz and see which bed they think you should sleep on, and check out Tuft & Needle if you want a simple all foam bed with a soft neutral foam feel that's also around a medium. But hey, that's just what we think over here at the yard. What do you guys think? Have you heard of either of these beds? Have you heard them on some podcasts or on some internet advertising? Where have you heard about these beds? Write us down below in those comments. We wanna hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you'd like. But that's gonna do it for this one. I'm Wes, wishing you a good night's sleep.